Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in the Maya 2024. Well, today we're doing a subscriber request. I received a question that whether I could do a tutorial on character rigging for beginners. Now, let me start off by saying that I am not an expert, uh, far from it. I don't do a lot of character rigging, but I'm sure I will be able to help you get going, right? So, uh, to rig a character, we first need a character. So we're going to go up to Windows. We're going to go to Content Browser, which is in here. We're going to go to uh, Modeling. Then we're going to go to uh, Sculpting Base Meshes. We're going to go to Bipeds, and we're going to double click on this guy. All right. Now, I absolutely hate that color, so I'm going to select it, right click Assign New Material. We're just going to go with the default Lambert, and I'm going to hit R and scale it down a lot. All right. Okay, dokie, okay, there you have it. Now, if I hit four on my keyboard, you'll see that we have no char uh, no uh, character rig, all right? So if I wanted to move this guy and I would grab it somewhere here, I would be moving vertices or whatnot, and that wouldn't be helpful at all, right? So we need to create a rig. Now, luckily Maya has some very nifty tools for that. So with this guy selected, go up to your rigging menu, like so, go up to skeleton and go down to quick rig. Now, when you click on that, you will get the quick rig option right here. And we're going to do nothing else but click on auto rig. That's the only thing we're going to do, right? As we do that, it creates a rig as expected. And here is, a, let me close the attribute editor here. Here's a representation of our character with the uh, joint locations, right? And uh, I would say roughly, it's not exactly the same. But anyway, here you see that we have a, a rig. So I can grab this wrist right here, hit W, and if I move this, you'll see that it will correspond, right? And I can go in here and move that hand and whatnot. And if you are positioning your character, let's say for a single still render, this might be enough. But this uh, rig is far from perfect because there are joints that are completely located incorrectly. The wrist joint is basically way too low. Um, the elbow joint is way too low as well for the simple reason that not every character is the same. You've got tall characters, small, fat, thin, and so forth and so on, yeah? So instead of using the one-click auto-rig system, we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna use this step-by-step, -step, which will give us more control, right? So I'm gonna select this guy, and I'm gonna go up here and click on Delete. And it's gonna ask me, do you wanna delete all that stuff? Yes, I do. Okay, it's all gone. So we're back to our starting point. Now, instead, what we're gonna do is with this guy selected, we're gonna go to step-by-step, -step, and there's nothing here just yet, and we're gonna hit the plus sign. Because this is selected, if I hit the plus sign, it's gonna be setting this up, yeah? In the geometry, it's asking me, okay, what model do you wanna work with? Well, I got it selected, so I hit plus. This is the one I want. Then we have the guide section. And the guide section is about placing points in the, or guide points in the character. This is not part of the rig just yet. Maya will create the rig based on where you have these guide points. So you basically put them where you want them. This is where I want my wrist joint. This is where I want my elbow joint and so forth. And from there, Maya will then create the rig. So, what are we going to do with the settings? Imperfect mesh, leave it alone. Resolution, leave it alone. Guide settings, let's say you want a whole bunch of dots in the spine. You want, I don't know, you got some very weird character with a super long back or whatnot. You can increase that number. Uh, I don't know, a giraffe, you increase the number of dots in the neck and so forth and so on. Yeah, I'm going to leave it alone. Extras, leave that alone, all of that. Now, I'm gonna click on create slash update. As I do that, it will create points in the character and you can see them right here. And again, this is not the rig. These are simply points, yeah? 
Next step is you want to manipulate the, these points. You want to move them around because you want to have them in exactly the position where you want them, right? Now, what I'm going to do first is in this menu right here, I'm going to click on the one on the left. Right, guys, so it took me a little bit, but I think I figured it out. Okay, so we've got this guide selected, and then the second symbol right here says, you selected guides as source for mirroring right guides to left guides, right? When facing the character. That's exactly what we're doing. So I'm gonna move that up here, and let's see if I click on that. Yeah, there you go, right? So that's how that works. Now, we're gonna go in here. I want it to be moved here as well let's say somewhere around here and we've got this guy that's the other one click that and there you go cool and you're going to do that with all the joints you want to move around in your character right once you're happy with all these guides for your joints and um, you know you have moved them around you're all happy and everything you're going to click on create update and that will create the actual rig right so let's click on that give that a second and there you have it. Now again, I didn't move a lot of them, only only the elbow, right? But let's assume I did all that and the shoulders higher and all that stuff, yeah? So now you could go in here and you could pull this out. But hey, what's going on? I pull that out and I got bones sticking out and the body's not moving. Why is that? Well, we need to bind skin. So the bottom of the menu here says uh, skinning, right? So with this guy selected, we're going to click on create update and it will bind the skin, meaning it will uh, bake the skeleton inside the character. So if I click on that and it's binding skin, now if I go in and take that joint and move it, it will move the arm of the character as well. All right, cool. So almost there. Let's see if this is responding correctly. Yeah, it is. Okay. Now we're almost there. Um, one more thing to do, which is this. Let's say I go in here and I grab this shoulder, right? And I start to move it. Look what happens to the character's shoulder and it's looking very, very funky, right? Now, the reason why that is happening is because we need to do some skin uh, weight painting. Meaning, let me get this guy back in this position. Meaning we need to tell Maya what areas to flex more than others. So which ones are heavily, uh, which area is heavily impacted by the joints and which areas are less impacted by the joints. How does that work? Well, we're going to select this guy. We're going to go up to skin and under skin, we're going to go to paint skin weights and open the option box. All right. Now here's an overview of all the rigs that are in our character. And if I select any of these, let's go and find, I don't know, let's see if we got the neck, right? Uh, yeah, the neck. Okay, cool. So we have the neck. Now, you don't see it selected in our model, but if we hit five on the keyboard for shaded mode, you'll see that there is a white area around the neck, right? Uh, not so much on the back here. Now, what I want to do is I want to impact or, or increase the uh, restricted area here. So down where it says opacity and value, make sure that they're both set to one. Yeah, I got the soft brush selected and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start to increase that painted area. Now, you don't want that to be everywhere, obviously, but that's the area where I want less flex of the skin, if you, if you know what I mean, right? Then we're going to go back to our select mode. We're going to select this guy. We're going to give it another go and we're going to try to rotate. And now you see that although there's still an issue here because we didn't place that joint high enough, the top of the shoulder is no longer deforming, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to um, play with your model by moving joints all over the place and see if there are any deformations in the skin where you want it to be less impacted. And then you go in there and you paint everything white. Now, if there are areas where um, it's not impacted enough, you would paint it with black to create the opposite, right? Basically, then you have a working rig. So uh, to just run through the steps again, 
you take your model, right? You go up to uh, skeleton and quick rig, and under quick rig, you go to step by step. You add your character as the geometry. So click on plus, add the character. You add the guide points where you want Maya to create the rig, right? Then you create the actual rig after you have moved them around and updated them. Then you do the uh, the skinning, so the bind skin, so the skeleton stays inside of the character. And finally, you go up to uh, skin and then skin uh, paint skin weights. Whatever you want uh, less impacted by the joints, you paint white. Whatever you want more impacted by the joints, you paint black. All right, so that should be enough for you to get started in character rigging as a beginner. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Uh, that said, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.